Hey folks, this is Vagrant. Welcome back to Dra I only just noticed the hands. Welcome back to Dragon Age Origins. In the very end of the last video, we took down Bronca, who's gone a little bit loco, and we... Oh, hello. We see a large stone tablet chipped with age, with a great number of dwarven runes carved into the surface. The writings in dwarven appear to be a long list of names, each with the stamp of their house next to them. You recognise a few of the house names. At the bottom of the list are the words, We honour those who've made this sacrifice, and let their names be remembered. The carvings are still deep enough that tracing could be taken, allowing the information to be carried elsewhere. Ogren, what is this? I mean, we know what it is. <laughs> Long list of dwarves. Wait, hold on. We honour who have made this sacrifice. Let their names be remembered. Fart me a lullaby. It's a memorial of all the dwarves who became golems. Has to be. If there was some way of getting this back to the Shaper at Norzmar, I bet they'd brown their trousers and pay good gold for it. Probably both. Just such a wave of words, Ogren. Ancient runes are traced into a stack of papers which you store in your pack. Cool. Quest. Uh, right, so we're going to talk to Cal. Oh, hello. This is uh, Bronca's stuff. Bronca's got a maybe decent shit. Plus four damage against Darkspawn. Not bad. Spell resistance, Vanguard. Eh, it's alright. It's alright. Oh, no. Um, <laughs> it's happening again. Do I have any injuries? No, I don't really want to get rid of injuries anyway. Um. Eh. I just need to clear my inventory a teeny tiny little bit. There's too much stuff. Well, shards, goodbye. And um, we probably need to get rid of a little bit more. Freezing coating, where have you gone? <clears throat> I've only got one of you. Lesser nature valve, salve, valve. Lesser nature salve, not on my watch. Lesser elixir of grounding, not on my watch. Uh, dagger. No rubbish. You only want to get rid of things that you've only got like singles off, right? Six, nine, nine, nine. That'll do for now. Six more spots. Plenty of room to uh, hopefully get some gear. So let's chat with Car. Well, I'm going to look around first. <laughs> Just make sure I fully explored. And then we'll chat with Caradin, who I'm hoping. I don't know if the dwarves are going to be that interested in fighting with me anymore. They better be, but I'm hopeful we could maybe get the golems on side as well, you know? That's, that's the, the dream. Got it. Another life lost because of my invention. I wish no mention of it had made it into history. Yeah, you ain't kidding, stupid woman. Always knew the anvil would kill her. But at least it ends here. I thank you for standing with me, stranger. The anvil waits there for you to shatter it. <laughs> yes, excellent idea. Just destroy it now, after all this. It was good to meet you, Paragon. I intend to ensure that your warnings about the golems are heard by the Circle of Magi. Is there any boon I can grant you for your aid? A final favor before I am freed from my burden? This is not a bro who uh, skips chest day. Ogren, you lost Bronca to this. What do you want? Yeah. I don't suppose you can bring Bronca back. Maybe make her a golem like you? I would not do such a thing to her, even if I could. Somehow, I didn't think so. Well, and I don't want anything that would remind me of this. Best it's just done. There is still the matter of the election. I mean, we still need a paragon to get the assembly support, right? For the aid you've given me, I shall put hammer to steel one last time, and give you a crown for the king of your choice. You seem like a nice lad, Caradon. I'm excited for you that you can die in peace. Morgan hates that we're doing this, but Morgan seeks power more than anything else, seemingly. That is her driving factor. And she may be learning to love and to make friends and such, but I suspect, you know, it's 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 a internal battle. That's a tiny little hammer. <laughs> Not MDR. There, it is done. 
Give it to whom you will. I do not wish to hear their names, nor anything more of them. I have already lived far beyond my time. I have no place here. I will destroy the anvil. We agree to do it. It's the right thing to do. It's just too much power. You know, we already know, like, volunteer. If people just volunteered, maybe it would be okay. But, you know, it's not how it goes, is it? You have my eternal thanks, stranger. A trust in all Tonsha. May you always find your way in the dark. <laughs> there was something so blasé about that. The way he fell. Almost slapstick. Interesting that Ogryn approved that. Oh, it's probably because I asked him what he would want, right? Um, anyways, we are done. We are going to head back, finally, to the, I was going to say surface, but the near surface, I suppose. I don't believe we have any more quests in the deep roads. It's been a hell of a journey. It's taken us, I think, three hours or so we've been down well, here. That pretty much beat the sod out of how I imagined it. You ready to head back yet and share the news? To the assembly! Yeah, those deshiers have been trying to destroy <coughs> the city for years. Haven't managed yet. Boop. To Odzamar. Hey, it was fun. I enjoyed the deep roads. Like I said, maybe a little bit too much combat. Wouldn't have minded a little bit less. It felt a little oppressive at times, but sometimes it's fun to kind of scratch your brain a little bit in that way as well and have to devise a way around all these various combat scenarios. And some of them were pretty brutal. And there were some really nice little stories. Well, not nice in a nice way. Nice in a horrible way. You know what I mean? I think Ozma's had the best storyline. I call for order. This argument gets us nowhere. Then why these delaying tactics? I call for a vote right now. My father has one living child to assume the Idukan throne. Who would deny him that? Your father made me swear on his deathbed you would not succeed him. I apologize for the interruption, Lord Stewart, but the Grey Warden has returned. We should let the Warden speak. What news do you bring? Uh, I bear a crown from Paragon Caradin for his chosen king. Caradin was trapped in the body of a golem. This Warden granted him the mercy he sought, releasing him and destroying the Anvil of the Void. Before he died, Caradin forged a crown for Orzammar's next king, chosen by the ancestors themselves. And we are supposed to trust this? The word of a drunken sot and a Grey Warden known to be in Harrowmont's pocket? Silence! This crown is of Paragon make, and bears House Ortan's ancient seal. Tell us, Warden, whom did Keridan choose? Do I lie here? He wished me to give it to whomever I chose. I, I think we should tell the truth. The Grey Warden knows nothing about us. Why would a Paragon entrust someone like this with such a weighty decision? This is ridiculous! We've argued in these chambers for too long. The will of the Paragon is that the Grey Warden decide. I would grant the crown... Oh, my have you misclicked here? <laughs> I would grant the crown to Haramont. I appreciate your forthrightness, Warden. You have acted with grace through this entire torturous process. I'd like to know how he reacts if we pick Balin. I'd be curious about that. Actually, we might find out. Let the memories find you worthy. First amidst the lords of the houses, the king of Orzammar. I will not abide by this! The ancestors have spoken. Stand down, Balin. You've lost. Would you let a surfacer decide the fate of the dwarves? Watch out! They brought weapons! Guards! Oh, Balin. I will fight if I must. Such a sore loser. 
Okay. As for usual, kill everybody who's less spooky than Balin. Silly dwarves. What do you mean, royal guard? The royal guard defends the king. Balin's not the king. The metal man decided. The metal man will determine your king. No one leaves here alive. <laughs> That's probably excessive. What a sad I ending. I did not think even Balin would defy the word of a paragon, nor that so many would follow him. But most of Orzammar has seen him for what he really is, and I trust we will bring this insurgency under control. Hmm. Show him. Show them you are a strong king. They will follow you. I prefer to be known as a just and compassionate king. Strong too often comes to mean tyrannical. But I will not leave this uprising unpunished. Those loyal to the throne will begin preparations for a surface mission immediately. Orzammar will fulfill its treaties. Now, if you'll excuse me, I must get to the palace and set our plans in motion. Uh, cool. This is the staff I carried as King Endrin's second. Take it as a reminder of your place in Orzammar. I wish you luck against the Blight Warden. May we foster another four centuries of peace. Your role in this election would long I like him. I'm glad we picked him. Now's better than he seems like a good egg. And you know, him just saying there that he, he favours peace and etc. So etc. Et over appearing strong and tyrannical makes me think we definitely made the right choice. Also, Balin going balls to wall bonkers. I am curious, however. So, what we're going to do is we're going to save it. I'm going to make a proper save, just out of sheer paranoia. I. Ah. Uh, Oyam. Da proper sav. There we go. Okay, and then we're going to load. Load. I've still got flemets from all those years ago. Another. Is there any boon I can grant you? I do not wish to hear their name. <laughs> yeah, see, we didn't get the Ogryn plus because we didn't ask him his opinion at that time. I just want to see what happens when we pick Balin. We're not going to play through the game again, so let's just... I'm just curious. Obviously, we're not going to stick with that decision. We've made our decision. I'm just curious. Well, that pretty much beat... To the assembly! Wait, I clicked. Oh, what? I clicked. No! <laughs> oh, it's because the map... I was hit, I was hitting to tap through the, the dialogue. Oh, wait, wait. Can't we do this, though? Yeah, we can. No! I was tapping escape to get through the dialogue, and then obviously I've escaped out of the map screen. What is that thing? I don't know. It's just angry at me. So, yeah, now we've finished Ozumar, how would you rank the four quest lines that we've done? Um, I think Ozumar has been my favourite. I think even ignoring the excessive combat, huh, um, just the storylines I think have been the best storylines, you know? I think the castle was maybe the weakest for me. I probably enjoyed that one the least. The annoying child and his annoying mother. <laughs> um, and then probably Circle Third and Brazilian Forest in second, I would say, just in terms of the storyline more than anything else. The Circle was okay. But I don't really remember the story that much, except there was Blood Mages, and that was about it. And there's all that stuff in the Fade, and the Fade was too much of it. Like, the Fade was fine. I didn't hate it as much as everyone else seems to hate it, but I didn't I didn't love it. So I think that's the order I would probably do. Orzammar, Brazilian Forest... Circle of Mages, Red Cliff. And Circle of Mages and Red Cliff are close. I wouldn't say it's a, a viable, like a big victory in every direction, you know? All this, just to find out. <clears throat> I just want to see, if, if, if Haramon isn't chosen, does he turn against me? You know what I mean? That's, that's all I want to know. Because Balin, obviously, I sided with Haramon, so Balin's going to be very surprised I sided with him, you would assume. Interesting thing about that is, it means that choosing before this time didn't really matter, <laughs> because we just choose at the end anyway. It makes sense, they're not going to lock you out of an option, but just interesting. To Odzama! 
And then we are going to go do um, the DLC. The, uh, so there's three DLC. There's like seven or eight DLCs for this game. We're going to do most of them afterwards before we do Awakening. Um, but Return to Ostagar, or whatever the heck it's called, is in-game. We've done two of those. Shale and the, um, the Soldier's Peak one. We should let the warden speak. Mm -hmm. This crown is of Paragon. Mm -hmm. We've argued in these chambers. I... You leave me speechless, Warden. But I salute your wisdom, late though it may have come. He's my favorite. <laughs> She's my second favorite. Let the memories find you worthy. First, amidst the lords of the houses, the king of Orzammar. Do you acknowledge me as king? I cannot defy a paragon. The throne is yours, King Balin. Then as my first act as king, I call for this man's execution. Guards, seize him! Harrowmont was an honorable rival. Let him retire in peace. You know better than anyone the war facing us, Warden. Orzammar cannot afford to be divided. Anyone undermining my reign is serving only the Darkspawn. I will return to my palace to gather my generals and prepare our forces for the surface. I will see you there, Warden. You have my gratitude for all you have done for me. Wow. I am really you glad. You yourself <laughs> more, Warden. Without your aid, I would not have taken this throne so smoothly or so soon. You'll be a stronger king, or whatever. His name need not pass your lips again. My generals are already preparing for a mission to the surface. When you have need of us, you shall have every able-bodied dwarf in Orzammar. Since you did more than I expected, I offer a personal reward as well. This was a maul favored by my brother Trian. Take it with you, as a reminder of your ties to Orzammar. Now, I have much to do. If there is nothing else, good luck, Warden. May we both crush our enemies. Yeah, I'm really glad I didn't pick you. You're a dick. <laughs> I have no problems that we we chose Haramon, and we chose Haramon fairly early based on what we'd heard. So I'm I'm glad we uh, I'm glad we went with that. That was definitely the right choice. Uh... What am I leveling on you? I've been leveling up this, but I don't know if I want the other two, really. I'm going to start picking up shape-shifting stuff for funsies. Win! Let's get you some willpower, a little bit of magic. And survival. Sure. And... This one. <clears throat> right, let's go turn in our 10,000 quests. And hey, we get to hang around with Vogren for a minute as well. So, uh, I was thinking, uh, we've come to know each other fairly well during our time in the Deep Roads. You're bloody fearsome for an elf, and I'm a warrior without a house to defend. Wandering about killing Darkspawn with a sodding Grey Warden sounds like just the thing to keep me occupied. So what do you say? I'd be glad to have you with me, buddy. And glad I am to hear it. You won't regret it. <laughs> now, do any of these sad sacks following you around know the first thing about making ale? Eh, uh, never mind. You can stop with the glaring. I'll ask him myself. So this really carved warden. I've never seen the like. Leans into the uh, cliches, doesn't he? Coddle. If I'd heard it secondhand, I'd have called it a sodding lie. Warden. We've got a king because of you. He's a deaf boy. The rest impressive, but the Legion is grateful most for restored leadership. It frees us to fight to the dark spawn properly. Mm, Ferelden needs you at your best. Nay, our place is down here. 
When you break the Blight, and you've got the skill, we'll make sure they have nowhere to retreat. You'll have us indirectly. That's more than any surfacer can say. I'll do. Best of the vein to you, Grey Warden. Until the stones embrace. Maybe I should have brought him along. Great, let me think about this, whether I want to <laughs> change my mind. Ah, uh, I'm tempted. When did I save? I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna bring him along. I've changed my mind. <laughs> You're stone carved, Warden. If I'd heard it's the rest, impressive. But you'll have us. If it works, we'll find out. You alone have the skill to back up your words. Each of the Legion owes our homeland a death, but if our lives are better shed on the surface, so be it. Back to Orzammar when we win, though. I'll not stay topside to lose my stone sense. Thank you, buddy. <laughs> as soon as I, I, just, I was thinking, well, you know. The warden has joined Haramar. Hey, what the hell? Attack for Balin. Balin's gone, man. He's dead. Uh, uh, Weirdos. Uh, this feels like a weird time for a combat. Like, I feel like we're in a denouement sort of stage and it should just be sort of chill at this point in time. But hey ho. This is why you don't trust anyone who's pro-monarchy, right here. Okay, so we have several quests to turn in, although I don't believe any of the- Oh no, Shaper Up, we need to go to the Shaper Up. How am I doing in Venturi space? Not very well. Um, they said we got a new staff, right? Morrigan, let's have a look for you. Haramont staff. <clears throat> less damage, less arm armor, less range, less spell power. Okay, no, we're giving this to to win. That is great for win. Because I don't need her to have all that damage. She's going to gain two willpower, which is great. She's going to gain two constitution, which is great. And she's going to gain mana regen. That's super good for win. That's crazy strong for win, actually. Lovely stuff. Onwards to the Shaper Rut, where we have, I believe, two different quests to turn in. One, because we've got the book, which we can hand back. And also now we've got these uh, etchings as well. Three, found it. apparently. Warden, you have my gratitude. You're a bright spot in an otherwise dark time. Okay. I guess that was the book. <laughs> Orta. I, I started to worry. I didn't know if you were ever coming back. Did you find any records? Any sign of the old Orton Tig? I've been pronouncing that very weirdly. Um, I have the records right here. You, you found them? Let me see. That's my great-grandmother's name. And her husband. Oh, great ancestors, it's them. It's me. I am an Orton. Oh, thank you. I have to take these to the assembly right away. Find me there. Once these are acknowledged, I'll give you any reward. All right, let's settle down a little bit. <laughs> That's a little bit eager for my liking, love. Shaper. Impressive work, Warden. King Haramont's impending coronation has been entered into the memories. Is there something more I can help you with? I have some tracings. What's this? A list of names. Most of these clans no longer even exist. Is this authentic? You bet your hairy arse it is. <laughs> Taken from a tablet in Keridan's fortress, no less. Then is it true? The rumors of Keridan's so-called volunteers? Extraordinary. I would love to make a copy of this. The Shaperit has never had much information on Keridan and his golems much less proof of this magnitude. Warden, I hope this artifact from our archives will suffice as a reward. I must inform the Shaper at once. Got me an item. It'd be nice if it told you what the item was, because <laughs> I do not have a bloody clue, quite frankly. Not a clue. Maybe it was a rune. No idea. I don't care. We're helping people. That's all that. I don't really care about the rewards. I want the XP more than anything else, I would suggest. <clears throat> and a little bit of gold. How much have we got? 120? Oh, we're buying. Baby, we are buying that ring, I tell you. All right, let's go to the assembly, because I think he's in here. That last from a second ago. Orta. Can I? Ladder. So you can get off my back. My name's Orta. 
after the old Orton house. They gave our seat back. And the records show which houses still owe House Orton money. One day, I will be able to properly thank you for all you've done for me. Your happiness is enough. And I don't know what treasure is left. But whatever I get, you can have as much as you want. I'll have to find someone willing to look. Maybe a whole expedition. If the Taig is still there, it must have something. House Orton will not forget this kindness. <laughs> Didn't that sound official? <laughs> oh, I like her. She's a good egg. She didn't give me anything, though. <laughs> like, I, thought that, I thought we came here for our reward. She didn't give me a bloody thing. Anyways, uh, what missions do we have still to turn in? Mother's Hope, we found Rock. Uh, Filda. Well, Filda's not there, so we can go and meet a hit up a shop, sell some malarkey, go buy the ring, which we're going to give to Alistair. I'm going to take the one from him that gives him strength and dexterity. I'm going to wear that myself, I think. Noble woman. Pshaw. I never did... Hour. All hail King Pyral Indeed. I did never find more of the little... Little mole rat dudes, whatever they're called. All right, all right. No, don't think we ever finished that quest. Just out there in the wilderness. <clears throat> right, so before we do this, let's have a little look. See if there's anything I'm going to want to use. I don't think so. I think we've already... There's just there's nothing with like special stat bits and special stat bits are the only stat bits that I really care about. There was like one weapon that we maybe wanted to keep and that's about it. Have you seen my lunch? It is a piece of lichen bread with a spread of old cheese and shredded dried meat. I'm 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 only asking because you never know who's going to get hungry. You alright? Oh, I I I was hoping you wouldn't notice. Most people don't anymore. Or maybe they're too polite to mention it. I had a little incident a few years back. Uh, too much time with the raw lyrium ore, you know. <laughs> maybe it was a bad vein. I, uh, I cut myself and the dust got straight in the blood. Since then, it's been a little hard for me to concentrate. Except when forging. Then I'm straight as an arrow. Best work I've ever seen. L -l -l Look around the shop. See for yourself. I thought you were immune. I, of course we are. Weak surfaces like you touch the raw ore, and you'll bleed from your eyeballs and ours. Weird seeing how big you are. Even surface dwarves lose it. Us down here, though, we should be able to handle it just fine. Only not too much, and not every day, and not breathing the dust, and not directing the blood. Ancestors own bad luck. Working with Livian made you crazy? I can't say that. That's rude. I'm best in the trade, you know. I've worked the ore myself. <laughs> <laughs> okay, buddy. Alright. Uh, blood... Do I want that? I'm going to keep that. Because... Oh, Darkspawn. I wonder if... Uh, I wonder if um, the Archdemon counts as Darkspawn. That would be interesting. Sell all the nonsense. Sell all the nonsense. It's going to take about half a year to sell all the nonsense. I have not upgraded my daggers in approximately 5,000 years. Oh, wait. Which one do I prefer out of these? Uh... Bloodline does less damage. <clears throat> but I never fight undead, you know? Mm. 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 I mean, this is only 1.8 less damage. Double, yeah, okay, Bloodline sucks. <laughs> bloodline kind of sucks. It's just it's just lower tier stuff. It's a tier lower, so that's kind of ruined it. Okay, let's get rid of all this. I'll keep that for Sten, just in case. What about this one? I'll keep that as well. Okay, and me, me, Helm of the Legion? No, rubbish. We wouldn't help. No, rubbish, 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 rubbish. Rubbish, rubbish, rubbish. <laughs> I've just decided. They're all rubbish. It doesn't matter. I'm not going to read it. It's all nonsense. Goodbye. So we might keep this. No, no, who cares? Uh, ice band gone. 54 still. We must have some nonsense down here. Should have kept that as well. Uh, runes we can give in. 
emerald, topaz, and malachite gone. So we're knocking over three out. We can get rid of the runes. We'll get rid of the weapons when we get to the thing. Um, keep all that. Keep all that. Yeah, okay. Guess we're done. Now, where is that ring? It's so good. It is so good. I have to buy it. I just, I'm not giving, yeah. I mean, I've still got 78 gold. I'm, I'm kind of loaded, honestly. No regrets. All right, let's go chat to the other two. And maybe check in with the other merchant just in case. General goods, gem. It's so good. Alistair is going to be a monster with that thing on. An absolute monster. Oh, I'm. I'm not really talking to Dagny yet. Filda! Oh, I'm so sorry, Filda. You've returned. Yeah. With all the excitement over the new king, I never expected you to remember my poor son. Did you learn anything about my ruck? <laughs> I'm gonna lie. <laughs> Lady, your son is a dung-eating lunatic. That's not happening. Oh, my poor boy. I, I guess I knew, but... I just wish I could have seen him one last time. Here, this is my husband's masterwork, the first shield he smithed. I don't have anyone to save it for anymore. I'd like you to have it, for what you risked to bring me this news. Oh, I'm sorry. We'd approved, interesting. I wasn't sure. It's hard to know if people will approve of that, you know? Um, I, I think it's the right thing to do, morally. But I accept that it's a grey area, and it could go either way. I can't believe that scheming Harrimon stole the throne. <laughs> now his taxes will bankrupt us to pay for his wife's diamonds. Are you here to buy something or what? It was nothing to do with me. <laughs> Let me have a look in the store. I'll take your gold. You're good for that. I'm an innocent. I'm an innocent. Um. Grab these while I'm here. Plus two cunning is interesting. Oh no, I want this. This is great. Yeah, I'm gonna buy that. Plus two cunning is worth way more than the other stuff to me. Shadow of the Empire. Um, I gain armor. Technically, this is better as well. So the dexterity is the same. I gain. Very little armor, admittedly. I gained 0.2 armor, but look at the fatigue difference. It's huge. Yeah, I'm gonna buy this as well. Frost Shear, 10% cold damage. Uh, Morgan. Okay. Are you here to buy something? Or I'm gonna buy that ring as well. This guy's got some good stuff. 10% <laughs> cold damage for Morgan's great. Um, and these are cheap gifts. We'll pick these up so we can, uh, Get some love from our people. Morgan. Here you go. I'm going to give you Frost Shear instead of uh, Dalish Battery. Boop. 10% more. So she's got 15% cold damage plus a little bit 20% on there. So she's got 35% cold damage, 55% cold damage boost. Humongous numbers. 55, 60, 70% cold damage boost. Crazy stuff. And then me. I would like this. Plus two cunning. And Shadow of the Empire. Well, we're back to looking like this again. <laughs> Why does none of the leather gear I, look... It all looks what? terrible. It's all terrible looking. To a man, every piece is awful. I don't understand. All the plate armor looks so cool. And the leather stuff is just so bad. Oh, I shouldn't have bought this, you know. I've just realized. Because, um... We're going to go get our Drake armor. That's probably about fire resistance one name for Gasso. So maybe that's only going to be useful against dragons. Yeah, I swear the things I could do to you. <laughs> Ugh, it is leering at me once again. <laughs> oh, did I say that out loud? Wait, I hear it. I found it. Wait, let's go, let's go turn it in. It might be the last one. This is, I think this is the only place I haven't been. Maybe. Let's go turn it in. We'll be done with Ozumar now, anyway. And then, as I say, we are going to go do Return to Ostagar. Now, the reason we've waited until now to do Return to Ostagar is because... Um, I'm trying to remember where it is. is it, no, it's, it's this side, right? Didn't I just walk past him? Please, uh, 
Um, apparently, it's got some good gear. And it scales to whatever whatever level you are at the time. So, I figured I'd wait. You're the best wrangler I've ever seen. But there's more out there. No, there's not. <laughs> I'm sure there is, and maybe we get something cool, but it would it would take some effort now to, to track down whichever ones I'm missing. I'm sure... Let me just check Fico's imports while I'm here. For, um, gear. Now's better than later. We're about to leave, so... Make the most of the situation. Stone preserve King Haramot. Indeed. I'm showing... Do you have anything cool? Let me pick that up. I don't really have anything, do you, buddy? Nope. Not a bloody thing. I'm keeping this for my other people. I don't, I don't think that's rubbish. I think that's rubbish. Life giver. Amazing. Don't sell that. <laughs> Never sell life giver. All right. Am I poor again? Yeah, pretty poor, but not... Pretty poor, but not remarkably poor. It's kind of like real life, basically. <laughs> right, back to camp. Have a chat with everyone, given what's just happened. Sort the gear out. As in, just give Alistair the ring and give that the leather stuff. Odor. And you're looking at me? Should I be looking elsewhere? Have you forgotten about the fish you stored in your backpack, perhaps? <laughs> I was saving it. Won't be ready for the lie for at least another day. Even the chastened did not have such disgusting habits, and they consumed the flesh of the dead. Fine, fine. I'll soak it in the lie now. Have it your way, Miss Squeamish. That's not what I... Uh, no, never mind. Just get it over with quickly. <sighs> it is one of the benefits, of course. Uh, Swapping party more. members. Take time. By the stone. I feel like I'm about to fall off the world with all that sky up there. Take your time. If I could fight Randar Volney second after downing 15 lichen ales in half an hour, <laughs> I'm not gonna be put off by a high sodding ceiling. Well, let's get moving. We're losing, what you call it, daylight. It is the middle of the night, Ogryn. The middle of the night. Okay, cool. Can I build map now? I should be able to. To camp? To camp! Exciting times. Alright. Okay. Alistair, exciting times for you, my friend. We have Life Giver. So the Harvest Festival ring is kind of crazy. He doesn't need this one, though. This one's rubbish. I want that, though. <laughs> I want that for myself. Two decks, four attack. I should have that for myself. It makes more sense for me to have plus attack than Alistair, because... Wait, how much health was that worth? 50? Yeah. Because I attack so much more often, right? So me having more attack makes a lot more sense. And let's see if Leliana or anyone wants this uh, leather armor that we've got. Oh, they don't have the stats. Oh, never mind then. Go chat to the merchant over here, flog some stuff, see if they've got anything I want, and then we'll have a little chit chat. If there's anything I You missed your opportunity. <laughs> it's not sticking around. Oh, I thought I was gonna keep oh. Hmm. Ah, bear with me. Ah, uh, oh, Ogren, maybe you want this. Hmm. Yeah, probably. Do I want Ogren or Sten more though? I think Ogryn, to be honest. And it's pretty sweet, and it's Dwarven, right? It just kind of makes sense for him to have it. Alistair, are we going to give you this? Um... I'm not that convinced, you know. Oh, no, maybe I should be. Mm, I like the fire resistance on that so much, though. Yeah, screw it. Okay. Uh, Lely oh, no. <clears throat> Bear with me. Leliana. I've got a bow for you, my dear. Maybe. Possibly. Oh, yeah, for sure. Really big upgrade, though. Are you sure I can't interest... You and your friends are... I'm sure you... I feel a little guilty getting rid of the... Logically, I probably shouldn't get rid of the weapons. I'm aware of that. But... I did it. <laughs> so... It is what it is. Uh, do you have anything I want to buy at all, my friend? Mm. 
If we want that. I mean, that is... No, see, backstab damage. We don't care about that. That's rubbish. Faith's Edge. Two-handed. I would love an upgrade on my daggers. Like I say, I feel like it's been a very long time. But it's just not happening. It's a billion one-handed swords and no daggers at all. What sad world we live in. Ranger, Templar, I don't think so, Uncrushable Pigeon, oh for um, Shale, uh, right, <clears throat> so I'm going to throw that on myself rather than Ringer Selection, I guess, yeah, Cunning, I mean you can see how strong that is compared to that, it's kind of wild. Something you need? Okay, let's go have a little chit chat. Morgan, my beloved. What comes, my friend? Ah. We are in camp, so tis as good a time as any. You helped me avoid the fate my mother had in store for me. At the very least, I think I can aid you in return. Why? Do you wish me to leave? I can do so if you prefer. No, I don't want you to leave. Then I assume our discussion ends here. Minus ten. No, Morrigan! <laughs> what have I done? <laughs> what have I done? <laughs> I'll give her I'll give her some pretty things. There you go. Interesting. Oh, she hated it. Gold earrings? Interesting. Oh no. <laughs> Black runestone? Interesting. Oh no. <laughs> Totem. Interesting. Ah! <laughs> she hates me. Can I ever get a buff friendly? Yeah. Oh, let's give some stuff. To, uh, huh? Oh, thank you. That's oh. very nice. Huh? Uh, huh? Oh, thank you. That's uh, very nice. Uh, <laughs> terrible decision. <laughs> oh God. Oh, well, Lelian is also on care. Interestingly, a friendly seems to be the max. If there isn't, um, I think I need to get a Zevran up. Uh, can we buy some gifts for Severin? If there's any, I'm sure. Now we gave Severin already the special gift, didn't we? I think so. The the one, the, the super special gift. Sugar cake. Thoughtful gift. I'm gonna try. I'm curious. Let me just try this out. I suspect this is in the game as a a way for people who um. Who have the DLC? You've kind of completed the game and waited like force. How nice! Oh, baby. <laughs> okay, yeah, that's what we needed. I'm just gonna buy some gifts. <laughs> just bear with me here. <laughs> just bear with me. I'm not gonna go too crazy on it because a they cost money and b it feels like cheating. But I mean, they're in the game. It's not a mod or anything. It's part of the game. So I think cheating is maybe overzealous. I'm gonna buy. I'm just gonna buy twenty. That's all. Just twenty. <laughs> Um, uh, let's get let's get Morrigan back up as well. Interesting. I assume it's like a guaranteed plus ten, basically. Interesting. Yeah, maxed out. I'm gonna max out my my main Most peeps. Kind. I think Most I bought kind. too many. I'm gonna max out everyone, basically, <laughs> as it happens. Oh, thank you. That's very nice. Oh, he loves me. Oh, thank you. That's very Aww. nice. Aww, Eliana. Why? Thank you so much. A door. Why? Thank you so much. A door. Interesting that it's different. I'm to. I'm gonna need more of these. How nice. How nice. I thought I had enough. Um. I'm to keep this, am I? Oh, shale. Massive magic. It's my club name. <laughs> Gonna watch all these tick over. Massive cunning, lovely. Minus strength. Massive dexterity. I wonder what you get from Ogren. That's interesting. Because if it's strength from Shale, what would you get from Ogren? Yeah, I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna do it. It's in the game. I don't Your care. <laughs> Give me some wares, buddy. Uh, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. 
I think 10 more should do it. We'll see. Probably not, actually. I may have been a mistake. That looks fine indeed. It'll do, sure. It'll uh, do. 10 was not enough. Sure. <laughs> I've, I've underrated how many this takes. I'm to keep this, am I? It's nearly there, though. Constitution. Okay, so we get constitution from him and from Thingy. It's interesting. I'll do for now. Shale! I've watched a lot of humans in my time. It should be aware that I've decided that it is not much like any of them. I'm not human, Shale. Oh, it's not just that. Well, I'm sure that's part of it, but it's not only that. <laughs> Surely it must come from some superior lineage, yes? Some breed of flesh creature that has decided to elevate its genetic stock above its natural shortcomings? Uh, <laughs> there's a backhanded compliment in there somewhere. Nonsense. It can imagine my surprise discovering such a thing was possible from a creature so... soft. But there it is. I would appreciate it if it didn't <clears throat> spread around that I said anything. Humans might start to get the wrong idea. They might start thinking their race is not completely hopeless. <laughs> we wouldn't want that. Indeed. Can it imagine the horror? <laughs> now, let us crush something into a fine paste before it starts to think I've gone all soft. Perish the thought. <laughs> Shell's the best. Uh, Stan, how you doing? Yes. As you wish. Do you really, you really don't want to talk to me, do you? Leliana? I enjoy the nights at camp. The night always seems more peaceful to me. Safer. I know what you mean. I feel the night grants us a reprieve from the troubles of the day. Silly, isn't it? The darkspawn never sleep, and they lurk in the shadows. It's not silly to seek moments to lay down your burdens. I enjoy those nights when we stand guard together, talking to pass the time in those small hours. Well, I talk and you listen, mostly. And sometimes I succumb and fall asleep and wake to find you still watchful. And I know you're watching out for me. Aww. Never have to feel afraid with me. What I'm trying to say is, is that I trust you. I'm comfortable around you. I know you'll be there when I need you. You are our, our leader and my friend. And sometimes I think that m maybe we could be more than that. Maker, look at me stumbling over my words like an ill-educated peasant girl. Some bard I am. Uh, <laughs> oh no, wait, the problem is... Oh, you already had a thing with Alistair. I don't... Uh, screw it. I'm not embarrassed. I'm just flushed because of the heat. Uh, I've, uh, I've always wanted to be more than friends. Really? N no one told me. You you felt the same way and didn't do me the courtesy of informing me? You made me say all those things. Why couldn't you have said them first? Oh, you... Oh, how very awkward. <laughs> Uh, you still like me, right? Why am I being such a baby about this? I must be a sight spilling my guts. <gasps> Kiss. Well, I, um, that settles it then. I am worried about what's going to happen when we talk to Alistair. I kind of feel for him. But if I was a woman, <laughs> he's like adorable, but he's a bit of a man child. So this might sound a bit strange. Here we are. But I have to ask. <clears throat> it's a uh, personal question. I'm wondering about, well, about Liliana, really. It seems like the two of you have become quite friendly. I suppose. I'm just curious, uh, maybe I shouldn't be asking this, but what's going on between you two? Is it something serious? 
Uh, yeah, uh, oh, this is, I feel bad all already. <laughs> I've made a terrible mistake. It's serious. I can't lie to him. Ah, I see. I can't say that I'm surprised. I guess I'd hoped it might be different that you would... That we were... Well, no point in discussing that now, is there? I'm sorry, Alistair. I hope so, too. I'm very happy for you both. Now, if, uh, if you'll excuse me. Aw, Alistair, I'm sorry. No, Alistair. Sad. No, you have to follow your heart. It's okay to flirt with multiple people and go in one direction. Love means pain. <laughs> like, inherently. It's part and parcel of the, of the job. There you are. Wanted to talk to you. What about... You and I, we... You know how sometimes you spend time with people and things. Hmm. <laughs> what is it? I was thinking, uh, I do know some people out here on the surface. A person, actually. A girl I knew in Orzammar before I left, obviously. A girl you knew or a girl you knew? What? Oh, you mean where we were <coughs> riding? <laughs> oh, I... After Bronca left for the deep roads. Name's Felsey. She was a fiery one. I'm sure she's forgiven me by now. Thought maybe I'd track her down. See how she's been living. You know how to find her? Last I heard, she was gonna live with her mother on the surface near some lake. <sighs> Clean, bad lake, was it? Yeah, I sawed it. I don't remember. We'll find her. Well, and a good friend you are, Warden. I'll think about you if we ever... Uh, no, actually, that would be gross. No, uh, what was it you wanted to say? You want to be a berserker? <laughs> Thought I'd never see the day. You're a monster on the field already, Warden. But your style just doesn't give itself to mad rage. Too much thinking, too much... What you call it? Finesse. But if you know someone fit for this type of work, I'll teach him. It'll be nice to have another berserker to grunt at for a change. Sounds fun. If you want to think like a berserker, drop fair from your vocabulary. If it works, that's all. Aye. All right, then. Maybe Zevran will teach me to be an... Where is Zevran? Teach me your ways of assassination. What say you? By all means. Mm, what's it take to become an assassin? Well, the crows would have you believe that it is an involved process that takes years of training. The sort that tests both your resolve and your endurance. Survive that process and maybe, just maybe, you're good enough to start being considered one of them. But quite frankly, the truth is that all it requires is the desire to kill people for a living. <laughs> it's surprising how well one can do in such a field. Did quite well, no doubt. Within the crows, I did. But it has been something the crows have devoted a great deal of time to perfecting. An assassin simply specializes in striking from stealth, and in maximizing that first attack to be as lethal as possible. Debilitate your foe, either by poison or by crippling their limbs, makes any follow-up combat you need to engage in that much simpler. Sounds useful. See? Getting paid for the act is beside the point. An assassin is more a tactical choice than a lifestyle. Of course, the crows like to pretend that their abilities are trade secrets, shrouded in shadows and wrapped in a blanket of mystery. So let's just keep this between you and me, shall we? Hmm? Did that work, or...? I don't know. What say you? Can you teach me to... Be... Can you teach others to be an assassin? Hmm. I suppose the crows are already furious, yes? What harm is another tweak to their nose? If you wish to be trained in the basics of an assassin, I can certainly show you. Or anyone else who is also a rogue. It shall be fun. I will make it fun. I promise. <laughs> Sweet. Finally. Finally, finally, finally. Alistair, I feel bad. Let's chat. Ask away. Okay, seems chill now. 
Yes, me too. And I got the feeling at the end there that it saw us, was aware of us, whatever you want to call it. Could have just been my imagination, I suppose. What do you think? I think you're probably right. You know how some people want to be right all the time? Me, not so much. I guess one thing is certain, at least, isn't it? It's official. This is a blight. Okay, we chatted. He doesn't hate me. I feel bad, but you, sometimes you have to turn people down, and sometimes you like two people at once, and maybe you sleep around a little. It's, 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 just because someone loves you doesn't give you, like, <laughs> doesn't mean you have to love them back, you know? That's just not how the world works. Turn in... Wait, what's the, what's the Dwarven one? Orzammar has sent her best, Warden. It has been a long time since the Dwarven army has marched on the surface. Need anything? Outfitting any army on short notice, there's always room for more gear. Gems would serve the most utility. The middle stone, sapphires and the like. We're dealing with many smaller foundries and larger values might overwhelm. I wonder if I can buy them back. <laughs> I don't think I don't know if they sell any. It's it's the little gemstones I've been selling. They're not worth that much. I don't mind. Your friends um, formidable folk, indeed. I don't mind I turning them in. Let me just have a little look. Um this kind of thing. Mm, that's quite expensive. It's getting, it's, getting, it's, getting, it's getting up there a little bit. It's getting a little bit too much for my liking. Uh, the runes. Am I going to... Sh I should use them, actually. I'm going to turn the others in. Four, what have I got on at the moment? Two cold, chance of reduced movement speed. Three electricity, chance of paralysis. Spell resist. I think most of these are rubbish. Enchantment? Yeah. Enchantment! Enchantment. <laughs> Um, I'm gonna throw on the Master Lightning Rune. And we'll go turn the others in. Give all these in as well. I just want them to have everything they can. I want them to be as strong as possible for the final fight. I don't know if it's a terrible idea, but I'm doing it anyway. <laughs> Unassigned. 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 Gems. Okay, Malachite was the only one I could turn in. I'm going to give two gold. That'll do for now. Everything brings us closer to victory. It's a start. It's a start. So, green, quartz, no. Greenstone, no. Interesting. Okay. Let's keep that in mind. Well, what we'll do is we'll just not sell... We can sell quartz and greenstone. Have, my oh, understanding oops. is that it encountered the smith named Caradin. He who was responsible for the creation of the golems, that he had become a golem himself. What I do not know is what became of him. Why did he not return with it? I would have many questions for him. Uh, he's dead, Shale. He can't... I'm so sorry. He killed himself. He killed himself? Ah. Oh, I would doubt it, but... No, I see it is telling the truth. May I ask what became of the Anvil of the Void, assuming that it too still existed? Destroyed as well. Then it was no doubt for the best. With Caradin also goes any chance I might have had of finding answers on my past, I assume. Tell me, did it find out anything from Caradin? Anything at all about how I might have been made? Uh, I don't think you want to know, but I'm going to tell you. <laughs> Meaning that I was once a living creature? That seems highly <coughs> unlikely, and more than a little insulting. <laughs> Is it certain? I'm not trying to insult you, Shale. Hmm. Was I forced into this? Or simply glad to abandon a frail body? And more importantly, who was I? I simply must know. I cannot help but believe that answers lie elsewhere in the deep roads. We must look. Specific? Yes, no, I, I don't know. If it can search the deep roads, I may remember something. If not, then I will have to wait. Okay. So we now have a, a Golem's Memories. Ancient history. That really annoys me, because we can never do that quest. Um, it's a lot going on, isn't there, still? 
let's go get the armor. Oh my god. Ugh. <laughs> We've got two quests for people. No one else seems to want to give me one at the moment. No, right? I'm here for you. Oh. All right, Wynn, you're the last one to chat to. I must ask, what does being a Grey Warden mean to you? Uh, it means I've been chosen to do something important. There's that, of course. But there's more to being a Grey Warden than killing Darkspawn and saving the world from the Blight. Does there have to Ultimately, be? Ultimately, being a Grey Warden is about serving others. About serving all people, whether elves or dwarves or men. You asked me what it means to me, and then you told me what it should mean. <laughs> uh, I serve as a protector. As a Grey Warden, you are a guardian of men. And you guard them because their continued existence is more important than you are. Thus, it is you who serves, not they. No one's more important than me. I suppose that makes sense. I'll keep that in mind. A good king. A true king who cares for his land. Uses his power to rule firmly but fairly. He serves his people first and foremost. The king who does not do this. Who believes that he is entitled to his power. Who abuses it and uses it for his own means, is a tyrant. I don't want power. If you live apart from others, and your actions affect only you, then you may do as you wish. But if you have power, influence, and strength, your every action will be as a drop of water in a clear, still pond. The drop causes ripples, and ripples spread. Think of how far they will go. How wide they will become. How will they affect the pond? But I've lectured enough for today. I should stop before I wear out my welcome. You're quite taken with each other, aren't you? <laughs> uh, quite. I've noticed your blossoming relationship. And I wanted to ask you where you thought it was going. Leliana is a remarkable girl. Sincere and guileless. And she has opened her heart to you. I would not like to see her hurt. <coughs> Why is everyone all up in my business? I'd never hurt her. Not intentionally, no. But there is great potential for tragedy here. For one or both of you. You are a Grey Warden. You have responsibilities which supersede your personal desires. <laughs> I can handle it. Love is ultimately selfish. It demands that one be devoted to a single person who may fully occupy one's mind and heart to the exclusion of all else. A Grey Warden cannot afford to be selfish. You may be forced to make a choice between saving your love and saving everyone else. And then what would you do? God, it's like Spider-Man. <laughs> uh, I don't want uh, yeah, I don't want to make that choice. Nothing is certain. Not in these times. You cannot take anything for granted. I want you to be aware of this. I'll consider it. I am just trying to minimize the suffering that may come to either of you. I have given my advice. Do with it what you will. Cause you're a downer, aren't you? What's on your mind? Uh, nothing. It is no trouble. Just wanted to see if she had a, a friend mission. I'm not sure why some of them do and some of them don't. I think they all do, but they're just not all suggesting it at this point in time. Right, with that nonsense finally done, she's left me alone. <laughs> Next video, we're gonna hop up to, um, we're gonna hop to Denerim. We're gonna pick up our armor, which should be done by now, shortly, the dragon scale armor. So we'll grab that, sort that out. And then we are gonna head to Ostagar. We're gonna return to Ostagar and do that DLC. That's part of the uh, the DLCs. We'll finish that last one, and then we'll do everyone's missions, and then maybe we'll be ready to play the game. <laughs> I think then we have to go back to Denerim again, or we have to go to the um, we have to go somewhere. That's all I've got for you. We have to go somewhere. Until then, thank you very much for joining me. I'll see you, lovely folks, very soon. Cheers, much love as always. Bye bye.